Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Black 2, and we're back in the Dream Yard. So, yes, we started exploring this bit, uh, this area a little bit last time, and we kind of got distracted a little bit with the sudden and random appearance of a Latios. And fortunately, I was able to capture it first time, so that was pretty sweet. But now that we've gotten that uh, capture out of the way, might as well start exploring the rest of the Dream Yard, and including this uh, underground bit. I'm going to assume it's going to be very similar to the underground bits that the Dream Yard had in the previous Pokemon Black game. But I don't know if there's going to be anything interesting to find down there, especially considering, of course, I've already encountered the legendary Pokemon around here. Well, the, the Latios, so I don't know if there's anything else to be found around here, but you know what? There's no harm in exploring, so we're going to do just that. Okay, well, so far... Well, let's get the dancing machine on. Uh, so far, this looks pretty much the same as the previous Pokemon Black game. Also, are you running away? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to speak to you right now. This is a power spot. It awakens your dormant f uh, power. Maybe I should also switch uh, to a different Pokemon because I think you're going to be using... Yeah, you're going to be using Psycho Pokemon. That's not going to be good for my Ember. Ooh, but a Hypno though. Alright, alright. A Wild Hypno. Oh, a Wild Hypno. An actual Hypno, rather. Uh, although it wouldn't surprise me if I could find like Wild Drowsy around here thinking about it. Hmm, who knows. Uh, you know what, just use Flare Blitz. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to re suffer from re recoil damage, but you know what? That's absolutely fine. Ooh, Dust Clops. Ooh. Mm, yeah, let's switch Pokemon. I could technically get away with using Emboar, but no. Let's actually use a Pokemon that's actually going to be somewhat effective against the Ghost-type Pokemon. Come on out, Zoroark. And, of course, I'm not hiding uh, your true form, because, of course, you're at the bottom of the list. I might have to change that around. Uh oh, now Zoroark is under pressure! <laughs> um, just use. Ah, just use Nice and Slash. Yeah, easy. Easy for Zoroark. Lovely. Do you spot my weakness? Yeah. I just used my Dark type Pokemon to take care of your Psychic type Pokemon, although I haven't said that. You were using a Ghost type Pokemon. So, hmm, anyway, long ago there was this Pokemon called Mushana here that could eat dreams, and even make dreams real, or so people say. Hmm, yeah, I mean, that had got me wondering, because I think in the previous Pokemon Black game, I think you could actually, bye, <laughs> you could actually encounter um, a Mushana, and it actually appeared in the overworld rather than just in the grass. Also, I am freaking this person out here. Alright, hang on. I'm just going to do some changes seeing as... Well... Might as well you make, take advantage of Zoroark's uh, illusion or ability, or whatever it's called. And if I encounter any more trainers that use certain Pokemon, I might be able to trick them by pretending that I'm using Espeon when I'm actually not. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see now. Okay, got more down there. In fact, you know what? Might not be a bad idea just to have Zoroark up here. Although this person up here doesn't seem to be a psychic type user. But then again, I am completely wrong. I mean, the mysterious psychic power, you cannot see it, yet it is definitely there. Alright, well, fair enough. But yeah, uh, that Mushana no longer seems to appear on the overworld, presumably because uh, he had a chance to catch it in the previous game, and this game assumes that he caught it. Well, but then again, if that's the case, then why were we still able to catch the likes of um, Cobalion, Terrakion, and um, Verizion? Hmm. Who knows? Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, let's just take care of this Ghastly. Oh, you're using an X special. Oh, of course, these uh, particular Pokemon trainers do tend to use those items. 
certainly didn't help you though, did it? Nah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, skunk tank. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Quite what I was expecting. Screw it. Keep battling. Oh, you're not going to use another item. Okay, fair enough. Although this skunk tank is more likely to survive this attack, and indeed it does. Wait, you're using flamethrower? Yeah, not the smartest of moves there. <laughs> yeah, let's use flamethrower on a fire type Pokemon. Do you really not have any other options, skunk tank? Oh well, whatever. Ah, it's always like this. I cannot see what really matters. Well, I know what really matters to me. Thank you very much for all that extra money. A hole in a donut. There is nothing there, and yet it exists. I love that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, an HP up. Fair enough. Also, I know there was a hidden item, but I think it was near that uh, tall grass over there. Right, we've got another psychic type user around here, so let's just immediately swap to Zoroark. Surprise! <laughs> Eek! Why? I foresaw your move and I was running away from you. Oh, is that why everyone just decides to suddenly turn around? Although it makes a nice change that I'm the one that uh, has to initiate the battles rather than the actual NPCs. What a nice change. Also a nice change. A chingling. Anyway, let's go. <clears throat> Espeon. Night Slash. Yeah, you weren't expecting an Espeon to know Night Slash, did you? Ooh, Mr. Mime. Alright, cool. And looks like you've not caught on because, once again, I'm using Night Slash and you are none the wiser, whoever I'm battling. Nice amount of experience points, though. Ooh, nice. I foresaw your thoughts, but I lost. Hmm. I'm starting to doubt that claim. Talk to me. You can't help but to chase after what runs and to want what you can't have. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, right, uh, let's get the dancing machine on. Okay, so we've got the stairs there. I don't want to go over there just yet. Also, what with all these, like, random balls all over the floor? Have some people been having some kind of weird party down here or something? Who knows? Let us conduct some Pokemon research. Yes, let us show each other our Pokemon. Ah, that's fair enough. I mean... I'll show you mine, you show me yours. Alright, fair enough. Clang! Ah. Probably would have been better off using um, Embor in this case. I was half hoping that you'd use a Psychic type of what, but never mind. Hmm. In fact, I might be better just switching off, uh, switching Pokemon anyway. Let's, let's switch out uh, Zoroark. And let's bring in Embor. And yeah, just as I thought, you're just going to waste your move on using an item anyway, which gives me an opportunity to unleash my own flamethrower. Lovely. How does it feel wasting all that money on an item which you didn't even really get a chance to use in battle? <laughs> Horrigon! Well, 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 well. This is a Pokemon you don't see too often from NPCs. Nice. You traced Blaze? Well, I mean, that's fine. But that's still not going to help you for the fact that you are a normal type, so I'm um, sorry, Porygon. But yeah, you don't see Porygon that often with these NPCs. And even less so with its evolved forms. How refreshing! A new discovery and an ever deepening mystery. Indeed, but it makes me wonder, where did you get the Porygon in the first place? 
The more you research, the more you can discover, but with Pokemon, you can become friends, even without understanding everything. Yeah, that's, sounds fair enough. Anyway, a Dawnstone. Alright, okay, so there's nothing much else going on around here. There's a couple of sets of stairs. One I just went past, but it looks like... Is there a way through here? I don't think there is. I think I am... Yeah, okay, I do have to go up the stairs to the right over here. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. So where does this take me out to? I've forgotten. Okay, just out here. Anything around here? Mm, surprisingly... Oh, no, I was going to say, surprisingly, no, nothing. But never mind, something's just popped up and there is actually a... Actually, there's a couple of trainers around here. All right, let's battle. Real battle is the best way to learn. I agree. Uh, by the way you said that, I'm assuming you're a student at the local Pokemon school, and indeed you are. William. Ooh, Shroomish, alright. That's pretty cool. Sucks for you though, kids, because I am bringing up my Ember. So, um, yeah, um, sorry to do this, but you leave me with no choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shroomish, but, you know, Pokemon battles, you know, type advantages and all that. And it worked in my favour. Ooh, and a Tangrowth. Alright, cool. But, once again, should be no match for my Embor. Yep. No problem whatsoever. Nice. I'll learn from losing as well. Yeah, hey, that's the spirits. Like, it's not always about winning. Sometimes, like, you can learn stuff by losing and then figuring out how to do better next time. If you're working toward a goal, then anything can be a chance to learn. That's what Charon said before he became the, chim the, the, the gym leader. Hmm. Oh, hello. There's the item. Another PP of. Man, I'm, I've definitely got a collection of those now. <laughs> anyway. Talk. Uh, talk? Dark tall grass. I don't think that, that's not the first time I've said that in this let's play, was it? I said talk, the dull grass. Dark tall grass. I, that, is, that is not the first time I've done that. Bloody hell. Oh, no. Not a po not a, a Pokemon trainer encounter with that kid. An actual wild Pokemon encounter, but sadly, it's just a boring watchdog. No, 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 no. Don't care. Really, I'm just more interested in different Pokemon. My goal is to outperform gym leaders. So in other words, your dream is just to become a Pokemon trainer and beat the gym leaders. Which, I'm not going to lie, that seems to be the goal for practically every new Pokemon trainer that sets off on their journey, so... I... don't see how this works. Also, you're using a slack off. You know what? I'm going to go easy on you. I'm just going to use on for us. Oh well, that actually was enough to hit it, even just twice. And that was me going easy on you. Oh, okay, here we go, a slacking. Here we go. That's more like it. Now let's use hammer arm. Ooh, you're actually faster than my ember. Well, well, all right. But no chance of surviving that hammer on. Well, I'll give you something. Your slacking actually was faster than my Ember, so at least you got some kind of attack on me. But, yeah, I think you might need to do a little bit more training before you could potentially realize your dream of outperforming gym leaders, in other words, just going on a typical Pokemon journey. Yeah. When those triplets in Striaton Restaurant go back to being gym leaders, I'll be the first in line to challenge them. Yeah, well, good for you. That's assuming they do decide to become gym leaders again. Also, I might as well just have a quick wander around here in case there's any interesting Pokemon to found, be found around here. Ah, Jigglypuff. I had a feeling we'll find Wild Jigglypuff. Seeing as we did find a wild Wigglytuff from the shaking grass in the last episode, so no surprise there, we got the Jigglypuff. Anything else have you found around here? 
Oh, look at that. Well, here's the wild Munna. <laughs> the pre evolved form of Mushan. So, perhaps no surprise that we'll see uh, that Pokemon here. But I want to see what else there is around here. As I said, considering it's all about dreams, I'm kind of half expecting to see, like, Drowsy and Hypno. Anyway, Jigglypuff and Lipod. We've already encountered those, so, no, not interested in them, but you know what? We might as well, might as well keep running around here, just in case. Also, I need to check underground as well, just in case there's potentially any of a Pokemon that could be found that's only found in the underground section of the Dream Yard. Anyway, that's just a Watchhog. Don't care for about you. Just leave me alone. I want to see Pokemon I've not en yet encountered on this adventure. Unfortunately, it looks like the game is not going to cooperate with me, so never mind. Alright, fine. Oh, wow, I can't actually run. Alright, come on. There we go. Alright, well, that was somewhat disappointing. I mean, to be honest, the Jigglypuff was the only, like, highlight of, uh... Running around there. And, yeah, look at you trying to hide behind there. Seeing that uh, there's an item on the floor and you hide around the corner to try and, uh... Trick me into battling you. Unfortunately, this is not gonna end well for you. considering you're only using an Iggly buff, and yeah, I'm gonna go easy on this Iggly buff, just use an arm for us. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's more like it though. Oh, here we go. This is more like it. A licky licky. Alright, okay. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Hmm, annoyingly, he managed to avoid it. Unfortunately, your only best response was uh, Gyro Ball. I mean, if you were to evolve your Igglybuff into a Jigglypuff and then eventually evolve it into a Wigglytuff, then this battle could have actually been somewhat decent, even though I still would have had the massive advantage. What kind of person? Is that Cheren guy at Aspertia City's Trainer School? Hmm. Anyway, is this item worth it? A Reaper Cloth. A Reaper Cloth. Is that the item you give to a, a Dusk... Um, a Dusclops to evolve into a Dusclop or something? Or am I thinking something else? I can't remember, but either way... Aha! Here we go. Here's that big boulder. So let's use Strength and push that down into the hole. There we go. And let's continue down here to see whether there's anything of interest. As I said, we got the got some uh, tall grass here, so there might be something interesting to be found around here. But of course, there's also a hidden item, a psychic gem. Eh, whatever. Right, but speaking of psychic, as I said, there's got to be some other psychic type of one that might appear around here. As I said, I'm half expecting to encounter the likes of Drowsy and Hypno around here. I mean, we just battled someone who had a hip, though, so I'm half expecting to find a Pokemon like that around here. And, of course, considering both those Pokemon are well known for, you know, going into people's dreams, well, people's and Pokemon's dreams, and then quite literally eating them. <laughs> anyway, we have a Munna here. Do you know what? Maybe I will catch you, actually. I was thinking about leaving it alone, but you know what? I might as well catch you. Seeing as I can't seem to find a Mashana, I might as well catch a Munna instead. Probably a good job I switched out, although... Mm, okay, that wasn't as strong as I thought. Let's just paralyze you, just at the very least... Make things a little easier if I need to switch out uh, my Ampharos. Oh my, okay. Fine. I guess that's fine. Uh, I think I can get away with a Thunderbolt.
Hmm, okay, I did, but actually did a bit more damage than I thought. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to use Ultra Balls. Nice, easy. Mana was caught. Alright, cool. If I can't find a Mashana, I'll settle for a Mana instead. Mana, the Dream Eater Pokemon. Huh, so it is literally called the Dream Eater Pokemon. This Pokemon appears before people and Pokemon who are having nightmares and eats those dreams. <laughs> Man, okay, so I guess it's not just Alexa, Drowsy and Hypno. There we go. But again, it wouldn't surprise me if I cast those Pokemon around here. I tell you what, let's just do a bit of running around, see whether I can get... Whether those Pokemon could potentially appear around here, but... I don't know. At the same time, I have a feeling that I probably would have encountered them by now. Uh, looks like there's nothing much going on here. Nope. Um, we'll do one more encounter, but... Honestly... Oh, here we go. Double encounter. We'll see what we have here. No, just double Watchhog. Okay, well, looks like the encounters around... Well, underground here... Are no different to above ground, so you know what... Might as well not bother wasting my time. Oh well, I mean, that was something. Well, it was still worth exploring uh, a bit more of the Dream Yard, you know, pick up a few items as well as batting a whole bunch of other people, so you know what, I'm totally fine with that. Well, let's go and heal our Pokemon, and... I don't think I'm going to make a start on, like, exploring towards, like, the south of this city. Uh, I think I'll probably save that for the next episode, and instead, why don't we have another uh, Pokemon battle at the restaurant? Seeing as this is a new day, I might as well, um, might as well do another battle, do another double battle. So, last time I teamed up with Cress, let's team up with, hmm, let's team up with you this time. So yeah, spending every day with Pokemon. Uh, yeah, you know, let's have another double battle. Why not? Yeah, all right, let's do this. So yeah, this time I'm partnering up with uh, Silent. Oh, and that's answered the question I was wondering about uh, in an earlier episode. Looks like they still have a bunch of uh, uh, whatever those uh, f like. Fire Monkey Pokemon were cool. <laughs> I was half expecting them to maybe switch Pokemon uh, on different days, but never mind. Uh, right, I'm just going to use Hammer Arm on Heat more. And I hope that Maractus uses uh, Grass type move on that Basculin. That heat more actually managed to survive that. Well done. Okay, I wasn't expecting you to go for that target. You, you were former gym leaders, right? Surely you would have known to focus on Pokemon that are actually uh, that you're going to be super effective against. So why were you going after a Pokemon that your moves weren't going to do much damage to? Yeah, okay. I think I can see why they decided to quit as being gym leaders, because apparently... They're not that smart, and look, you're now paying the price for your stupidity. You should have used that grass-type attack on that Basculin. You idiot, Silent. Of course you avoided the, the attack. Alright, Simi Sage, surely you'll do the smart thing and actually go after the Basculin. There we go! See, that wasn't too difficult, was it? No, it wasn't. Well done. Hey, Ampharos grew to level 64. Might not be a bad idea to actually uh, bring you out, although... Ooh, yeah. No surviving that. Probably no surviving this either. Yeah, alright. 
Probably didn't need to be a critical hit, but I appreciate it anyway, Ember. And of course, Ferrothorn. Ooh, Slow King, of course, we remember that. And we teamed up with Cress and then Simi Sia. Might be why. Mm, actually, yeah, probably would be wise for me to switch Pokemon. Hmm. I think I might do that. Question is, are you going to use a water type attack or a psychic type attack on my Ember? Possibly a water type attack, but you know what? Just in case, I'm going to bring out Zoroark. I'm going to really throw you out of the loop here. Especially if you decide to use a psychic attack. Oh dear. Well, turns out my battling partner is a. Aha! You did! Oh, get destroyed! Get destroyed! And let's use foul play on the Slow King. Oh, it's not very effective. That's because. Aha! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! It was a Zoroark all along. But now it's basically two against one, and this is going to be really difficult because my battling partner, as it turns out, is completely useless. But we can get rid of the Slow King at least, that's something. Yeah, no surprise there that's knocked out Zoroark, but that's fine. Unfortunately, Golduck is a bit on the weak side, so I can't really rely on you, so... Mm, tell you what, let's just use Espeon. This time, actually Espeon. You bring out Simipur, that's fine. I am going to focus on getting rid of the Simisea. And if necessary, I could always switch to either Saw's Book or Ampharos to take care of that Simi Poor. Also, how did you survive that? No way did you survive that. That is... Yeah, screw you, Simi See ya. Right, well... Mm, actually, because you're a higher level, I'm just going to use Saw's Book. And you know what? Just use Horn Leech. Again, you managed to survive that. Oh, of course, you use a full restore. That's right, just delay the inevitable. I think it's safe to say I don't think I'm going to be teaming up with uh, Silent <laughs> if I decide to do these battles again because um, turns out he wasn't that smart. <laughs> to put it pure and simple, he wasn't that smart. And I pretty much had to carry our team to victory there. Although that is a decent amount of money. Nice. Oh, that's a lovely amount of money. Yeah, you better stand back. You're welcome. Even though I was the one that pretty much carried the uh, the team. So, um, yeah. Screw you. <laughs> but seeing as I'm here, I might as well do another game of this. Yes. Let's get the Pansia show. That's what they were called. Pansia. So, who am I going to uh, follow today? Oh, the one on the right again. Holding, oh, it's just holding a big mushroom. Oh, is it always just holding a big mushroom? Because if so, yeah. All right, let's pay attention.
Okay, unless I'm very mistaken, it is this one. Easy. I'll take another big mushroom. And there's you again, just appearing out of nowhere like last time. And once again, your pants here are just gonna dive into a, like a random hall or something that I can't see. Like, where the hell are they going? I didn't realise you were a magician. Hmm. Strange goings on. Oh, well, that was fun. And who knows, maybe if I could be bothered to, I might do one more, like, uh, battle. Uh, another double battle, but this time teaming up with Chili. But uh, I'm not in a massive hurry to do that. But I think in the meantime, I will heal up my Pokemon. And I think we will wrap up this episode for today. So, next time we're going to start exploring towards the south. Possibly get to the next town, I think. I don't I don't remember it being that much of a long distance to get to the next town. So, I think that's what we're going to do. See what's what. Hopefully something interesting. But, ah, you never know. Depends what's changed in the two years in between both Pokemon Black and Pokemon Black 2. We shall see. But for now... Thanks very much for watching everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.